of Iowa in the black, ranked fourth in the country against Stuart Carter of Iowa State. He's a freshman, and this is uh, Iowa's youth, Iowa State's youth against Iowa's veteran. Kerber finished fourth, was fourth or sixth last year in the Nationals. I slipped my sixth. mind here. I believe it was sixth. And he was the most improved wrestler on the Iowa team last year in a vote of his, the wrestling crew at Iowa. Currently sports the number four ranking in the country. He's a junior going against Stuart Carter, ISU's freshman. Iowa State would like to have had Joe Gibbons in here. He's had a series of injuries, and it now appears that Joe Gibbons, who in fact uh, placed higher than Kerber last year in the Nationals, will be gone for the rest of the year. Possibly a, a redshirt hardship case because of his uh, injury. But Iowa State really wanted him this year. because a lot of people are going to be gone off this lineup yes. next, next time. There's a lot of seniors on this uh, squad. And Stuart Carter, who's wrestled tremendously well as a walk-on in his place from the Waterloo area. Kind of interesting, Doug, uh, while we're looking for some action here, 14 of the 20 wrestlers tonight have national rankings. Warning both ways. Warning both ways, Carter and Kerber. arm tie-ups, much the same way as we had in the 118-pound match. Yeah, both boys are looking for an opening. It's uh, Carter tried for the inside tried, cross, couldn't uh, do it, and Carl Kerber came around. With his, spun just, around, blocked off that arm, and uh, made a counter move, uh, worked for a two-point takedown. Kerber, you two to nothing, him. Kerber. Jeff, turn him. Makes a difference how much you win by two. Of course, a pin is six points for the team and not three. If you beat your man by between eight and 11 points, that's uh, four for the team and more than 11 points, it's five for your team. So those major and superior decisions make a difference too. Right now, uh, Kerber's riding pretty tough on top and uh, Carter's uh, not managing to get his base underneath him so he can get something put together. Let's go back. 39 seconds to go Make in the easy. first period. Two to nothing, Kerber. There is Cy. With his perpetual smile. <laughs> and shiny eye. One of, I would guess, well, maybe 13,000, 12, 13,000 people in place tonight at Hilton Coliseum. Carter trying to come around. He's out. He's kind of a sit out. Uh, uh, face off. Carter for the one-point escape, go, Kerber, go. did a nice job. Yeah. Kerber got 47 go. seconds of advantage time. Come on, Kerber wisely gave the one rather than lose go, two go. there likewise. Go, go, Interesting thing here, the scoreboard has to be wrong because Carter has a second of riding time and he hasn't been in a position of advantage yet. I wonder somebody hadn't called that mistake. I think they probably will. On the feet, Jeff Kerber, four times. <laughs> High school champion in Iowa. There's the end of the period. Kerber leads two to one. Carter gets his choice. Up. Yeah. He takes up. There's Dan Gable and Harold Nichols, who was Dan's coach at set. Iowa State. That uh, one second of riding time has been erased. Kerber. We get to start from Kerber. scratch Kerber. here in the second period. Two to one, Kerber on the bottom. Carter jams in, keeps the deep ways. Traps that near arm, comes across the far side, scissors the leg. Goes to the Navy ride here. Got Kerber off his base, he's got those legs scissored. Now Kerber's out of that. Again, the same thing, he steps through there very nicely and maintains the position of advantage, that's Carter. A good 30 second ride, brings the Iowa State people to their feet. Stuart Carter, of course, came off, has come off of the uh, recently uh, completed Midwest Championships, winning the crown uh, at this weight class uh, here at uh, the Hilton Coliseum. Caution bottom. Caution against Kerber. You're all right, Jeff. You're all right. Come on. You're all right. Don Miller came to this meet not knowing he was going to referee. Looks like he's pretty well in the swing of things now. <laughs> he came to 
to be an instant fan and enjoy uh, as a fan, but ended up being official. Assisted by Kerber's up and out, turned right in quickly and made it look easy. Three to one. Bob Siddons assisting Miller at the edge of the mat, so we have what is referred to as the head mat official with the assistant aiding at the mat's edge. It makes a good team effort uh, in all kinds of situations, but particularly where there's some ju tough ju judgment or controversial calls, they can aid one another and uh, really be an asset for the wrestling. Uh, as Carter's down the in the, has his mask down in his eyes. So that started. It's taken care of, and here we go again with a minute left in the second period. Three to one. The difference is a takedown by Kerber. That's right. There's no riding time to anyone's advantage at this point. Uh, neither boy right now is shooting for a takedown. There's some reaches, but uh, those, are, those are tentative. Those aren't uh, really serious threats. There's, uh, There's a high crotch for Kerber. He's in there tough on. He's got good position. No points yet, but he may score. There it is. Uh-oh. Not quite for back points, but if uh, Carter had held the position much longer, he might have lost some. It's five to one now in favor of Jeff. He's got that deep waist. He's trying to get him turned for some back points. Sprawled pretty heavy up, pretty tough on top. Carter's not able to get his base at this point. Now he comes up. Kerber trying to tip him there at the end. It was too late in the period. We have finished two periods at Hilton Coliseum. There's Dan Gable. I think he liked what he saw in that period. Kerber looked good after the first 30 seconds. Les Anderson. Of there you Iowa see State. it right there. He's in there real deep. Gets the lift. There it is. Just Ooh, put him boy. right to Matt. Boy, that knee came down Didn't there, it? Uh, in a position where it was uh, almost uh, doubled back completely. I haven't it seen that. The outside. Kerber starts on top this time, leading by four. And uh, he'll soon have riding time. There's a roll with a step over attempt, but that could be dangerous likewise. Almost scored off foot, but uh, you can be put on your back pretty easily off of that move likewise, Doug. Kerber on top. His lead is four. He could make it the equivalent of five, and he has by getting a minute more riding time than his opponent. Well, he's got that riding time, of course, so he actually leads theoretically six to one at this point. He's riding pretty tough on top, and uh, Carter's not able to uh, put anything together down there to score. Now he's trying to sit out switch combination. Kerber's riding him very hard now. He's a lot of drive, last period. There, there's the one. He gave it one. Carter. Five to two now, an escape right on the edge. Well, a five-point move by Carter would make it uh, seven. Uh, the kind people dream about, huh? But, uh, it could happen, Doug. You, we've seen it happen. There's but a there's a five-point move. Oh, At least by Carter. He's got it in there tough. That's a five-point oh, move. Five yes, point. Oh, boy. Yes, sir. Went oh. the other way, and it's now ten to two in favor of Kerber. And that's a major decision territory. It was well executed by Kerber. Now he's trying to bring him over the Iowa tilt, so to speak, for the two-point uh, near fall, but I don't think he got any. Didn't get him tilted far enough. Oh, big, big move by Kerber. He took Carter to his back and made a 5-2 to two match, 10-2 to two and actually 11-2 to two because he's going to get riding time, even if he can't turn Carter over. That's four points for the Hawkeyes if you it bet. stays this way. To get his, if he gets the one. And there it is. It's a big major decision for Kerber of Iowa over Carter. 11 to 2. And it puts Iowa up in the match 9 to 2 over the Iowa State Cyclone. And now we're going to go down to Chuck Patton for a look at what's happening. An interesting thing that some of you might be interested in knowing is. Right now, the assistant coaches for both Iowa and Iowa State are doing most of the coaching. The head coaches are sitting and doing most of the encouragement. The, head, the assistant coaches are doing most of the technical aspect of coaching. 